is Lauren Fogelman at ExpertSportsPerformance.com, working with highly driven, motivated athletes on having more focus, confidence, the ability to effectively deal with distractions when competing for consistent, high performance. Today, we're going to talk about athletes push beyond fear. Frequently, I get athletes asking me, Lauren, how do I stay focused? When I'm practice, I do great, but it just doesn't really work out when I'm competing. What's up with that? What I do know is if you do great during practice, you have the physical ability, the strength, ag agility, endurance to be able to do well during your event as well. What's probably going on has to do more with mindset than anything else. There's something that's keeping you from really being focused, being relaxed, feeling confident when competing. Now I can go into many, many different reasons that happens, but I'm going to take one of the fears that's the least talk of, talked about, but is so, so important because it really matters. And what that is, is the fear of success. Now the fear of success, people might think, is there really a fear about success? Of course there is. There's pros and cons to being success successful. And what I'm going to show you is some of the reasons that people might avoid wanting to be successful. And think about whether any of these apply to you. The first one has to do with obstacles. It's about how you look at something. Do you see obstacles or do you see challenges? Now as athletes, we all love a great challenge. What I want you to do is see if you can reframe Instead of trying to get away from a problem, let's have you move towards solutions. Same outcome, just looking at it from a little bit of a different approach. It's a positive one, something you can rise up to and overcome as opposed to trying to get away from something. So after obstacles, confidence. Do you have doubt about whether you can really step into your highest potential? Whether you have what it takes to really do it over and over and over again. That's one of those hidden benefits, or I'm sorry, a hidden tip I want you to think about is that it's not just confidence about one time, it's confidence about if I do it once, they're gonna expect me to do it over and over again. Oh my God, the responsibility that comes with that. Do you ever think that way too? So I want you to think about confidence and is it just a one-time thing or is it that maybe you're wondering whether you can really maintain it throughout the whole course? After confidence, fraud. Do you feel like a fake and you're ready and you're afraid of being found out? I have seen this with highly successful athletes over and over and over again. They don't feel like they really earned it. They don't feel like they deserve it and they're afraid of being called out for being a fake. It's about trying to avoid conflict, about not fully believing that you did the hard work and you deserve whatever success is coming your way. So that's a mindset issue. And once we turn it around, it takes away that resistance and you're able to move forward. After fraud, opinions. Whose opinion matters most? Are you more concerned about what other people are thinking about you and how you might be judged or how you might be criticized? Or are you more concerned about your own opinions and how you feel about how you stepped up to something and really earned it? Opinions matter. None of us like being bashed or being criticized, but the more success you have, the more people are going to make judgments about it. That's just a fact of life with anything you do, whether it's on or off the field. The bottom line is it's how you feel about yourself and the truth about yourself and what you know to be true. And that really matters more than anything else. So let go of the judgments of other people. People are going to judge you. Just a fact of life. It doesn't really matter. It's how you feel about things, your opinion that counts most. After opinions, safety. Now, yes, there's some very real safety issues as you rise up and 
uh, in your events and as an athlete. Some of it has to do with your training. Some of it has to do with the people around you. But there's also perceived safety issues. Maybe you feel that the more you rise up, the more risk there's involved because you're bringing attention to you and being in the limelight is just really uncomfortable. Maybe for you, being in the limelight at one point wasn't a good thing. And I really understand that. That was, at one point in your life, probably a very real issue. But now, does it still apply? The other thing is, yes, there's risk involved. It requires risk in order to be able to rise up, to be successful at the top of your game. I want you to be able to rise up to that challenge with confidence, recognize the very real safety issues, because I don't want you getting hurt, but the ones that are perceived and don't really apply any longer, we can reframe those and let's get away from the negative and let's turn it into a positive. So those are some of the reasons why people fear success. Think about whether any of these apply to you and how do they affect your performance? Where do you maybe sabotage yourself, hold back, make excuses? Now let's go to the solutions. And the solution is what I call the power play framework. And the power play is all the different steps you can be taking to help you rise up to your highest potential. The first one, purposeful. Do you have a purpose? Are you deeply, deeply connected to your purpose? That is so important for going the full distance is having that heart connection really having it come from your heart, what you feel is so important to you, you're willing to do anything necessary. After that, I want you to own your vision. Just own it. Claim it. Let people know what your vision is. Celebrate it. By telling other people it, it makes it more believable, it makes you more accountable, makes you more determined. Own your vision, step into it, don't be embarrassed about it. If you believe it's possible and you're really willing to own it, it's gonna really change your whole perception about it and you're gonna step up and do things that you would have shied away from otherwise. After that, willingness. How willing are you to do whatever is necessary? Are you committed? Have you fully made a decision that you're going to do whatever you have to do to step into your vision. You're willing to take it on. You're willing to rise up to the challenge. It is something that you feel very, very connected to. That willingness takes you the full distance even during the toughest moments. After that, energy. Now there's things that take our energy away. And they're things that lift our energy up. The things that take your energy away, the energy drains, are all that negativity, the doubt, the fears, the worries, too much anxiety. They just drain your energy and they leave your tank empty before the event is over. Now, stepping into what's possible, the opportunities, the challenges, being fully committed, those bring your energy up. They create momentum. You're rising up to a challenge. You're starting to see results. It all is about creating more energy. The more positive you feel about it and the more connected you feel to your purpose just adds energy. It's like putting extra credits onto the game. What I want you to do is really find where you get energy from, what lifts you up, what motivates you, what drives you, and access that to your fullest potential. After energy, resilient. Like I said, there's sometimes it's gonna be really, really tough. It's gonna to be uncomfortable at times. You're gonna be asked to dig deep. I get that. I've had to dig deep too. But being willing to work through those challenges to really stick with it and not walk away or make excuses makes you more resilient it gives you the qualities necessary to deal with adversity. When you're in the unexpected moments, you didn't know what was going to happen. You're able to stick with it, stay focused on your vision, and you do whatever is absolutely necessary. And the bottom line is, the more resilient you, you become, 
It's a confidence booster. You feel empowered. You know that you've dealt with this challenge. You can deal with the next one as well. What I want you to do is just review these beliefs. Which of these things do you already have? And where do you have them? And how can we bring them more into your game? And which of these are really getting in the way? So the challenge I have for you is to think about how some of these things affect success. And then I want you to think about a time that you were so determined to do something, no matter what anybody said, you weren't willing to take no as an answer. You weren't willing to walk away. What was that one thing you were so deeply committed to doing, no matter what the obstacles were? What was it that motivated you? It's that determination I want you to bring into your sports performance and to your commitment to your vision. It's going to be a game changer for you. Go ahead and leave a comment about what three takeaways you took from this training video. Um, I'd love to hear your comments of what worked, what your thoughts are, how it helped you, what you're working towards, what's your vision. I'd love to share in your vision with you. Please post a comment. My goal is to help athletes be able to stay cool in the heat of the moment. I look forward to your posts and, he and hearing from you. I read all of them, answer as many as possible. Until next time, Lauren Fogelman, expertsportsperformance.com.